Bam. Alright guys, it's lunch time, it's 12 o'clock. I just came out, I've been waiting for it to warm up some of I think a small one. It was uh well I say small, he's probably nine and three quarter. He's probably some of y'all guys, some of his legs ten inches is a keeper in it. He's probably nine and a half, nine and five eighths. Alright, that was on June bug. This is June bug, it's called JB on the site. What I thought I would do today, it's going to be tough fish. I know we've had a lot of rain. Y'all can see the watercolor. Yeah, it's stained. Visibility is about 15 inches. So, look here. You don't see this every day on camps. A bald eagle right there, guys. We have quite a few bald eagles around here. What I thought I would do is let's make a video. I'm going to use baits that are good in this stained water. This is not dirty, muddy water. It's dirty from runoff from rain. You can see the clay banks over here. See, they're just open clay banks. A lot of it, too, can be from boat traffic in the summertime. Uh, there's quite a few people fishing today. I've seen quite a few boats. It's supposed to be 55 today, <laughs> but it, it was 27 last night. I said when I, when I was packing up to come this way, it was 38, 40. I waited for it to warm up. The Weather Channel, if y'all watch the underground, I told somebody else about this a couple weeks ago. They went, thank you for telling me. They didn't know this. If you look at underground weather on the internet, it gives you wind speed, when the rain's going to stop, when the rain's going to end, close, you know. And the reason I picked today, yesterday was nice too, but the wind was 10 to 20. Today the wind's supposed to be 7 miles an hour at its worst, okay. And that's from 7 miles an hour is from, from 11 to 2. Yeah, it even tells you to period when the wind's bad. And it seemed like it is in the middle part of the day most of the time. So, it wasn't supposed to break, it wasn't supposed to break 35 degrees until about 10 o'clock. Then it was going to jump pretty fast. So I thought, I might even, I might even go start getting ready to 10 o'clock. So that's what I've done. And anyway, uh, I'm not far from my house, guys. I'm about a mile from my house. That's all further I am. But I can do that. I don't have to drive an hour or so to the lake. So I can, uh, I can do that. I used to. That's why I moved here years ago. 22 years I've been here. Because uh, I wanted to be where I could fish any time I want to without getting the truck and driving for two hours. So, being a paint contractor, it made it easy for me to do that. And my wife was, my wife was a, she retired, she was a school teacher at the time. So, you know, we just, we both just, uh, we both just switched over and moved and here we are. So I've learned to lake pretty good. I've learned some areas to find fish. Trying to keep up with the patterns is different. With the weather patterns, changes it every day. Let's see if we can, let's change to another color and see if we catch some more fish. What other color y'all think would be great for uh, stained water? Let me get my net ready. We'll catch a big one sooner or later. I'm not seeing many fish today. Uh, I'm in an area I have fished quite often. I went to a different area last trip out uh, and caught some because this area there was three boats sitting in this area. This channel that goes all the way down through here, I, I was down about a mile and a half further and I caught fish. They're in this channel and there's boats above me fishing. Right around the turn, y'all can't see them. They, they're just running the channel. They're constantly on the move. They're not sitting still at all. But guys, that's a nice fish there. He's right at 11 inches. Bam. That's right. Sunshine. You can't beat sunshine. Give them a little sunshine when all else fails. All right. Now, that color's on the site. I'm going to try to use all colors that I, that I sell, uh, except for one I got laid out here. And I got my LC Shad bag with me. Y'all going like, what? Yeah. <laughs> all the baits in this bag, guys. This is how I keep up my baits. I use these bags. Everything in here is LC Shads, okay? I've got one for tadpoles, juniors. One that's little bits and bugs and crickets. So that's how I keep up with them. All right. I'm going to switch again. All right, I'm not sure which one I'm going to switch. The ones I've caught fish on, I'm laying right here in front of my dash. And at the end of the video, we'll go back. Uh, the water might not be, I think it should be okay for this color. Sour plum. All right, like I say, this is pretty dark. You hook's been a little bit. You really want, uh, you really want some stained water or a dirty bottom for that bait. And again, that bait color, again, Depends on your lake. This lake, blue is hard to beat anytime. 
something with some blue in it. And in the summertime, y'all see me use natural colors. All right, we're going to use a natural color in this video too because I'm going to show y'all that you still can catch them on natural colors in this dirty water. Because these fish, <laughs> this sounds kind of stupid, but they were born and raised in this water and they eat and they survive in this water. No matter what color it is, they got a sense of, they got a sense when something's close to them, they know when something's around them, they can feel stuff move. We know all that from scientists, right? Okay. They can find a natural bait. And I said this the other day to somebody and they laughed and went, never thought about it. The minnows and the shads, what they eat a lot of, right? Those minnows don't turn orange in the dirty water. They don't turn, they, anything else, they turn a pale or light color, don't they? They lose their color. You catch a bass in dirty water, it's striped and everything is not, we're not, not online, it's not as distinct. In clear water, it's beautiful green and black, right? Minnows are the same way. They turn a lot of color. But the crappies still find them and eat them, right? By sense, by smell, by vibration. All right, bam. They like sour plum. And this, again, this color's on the site too. Wow, he's putting a hammer on me. He was like 50 feet out there, guys. That's what's fun by casting to him. You get to reel him in. <laughs> you get to reel him in that far too when you cast him. I got my death finder, I think. I, I just shortened it on this fish. It's on 60 feet. I had it on 65, and I seen the fish, so I hit it. Yeah, it's on, 50, it's on 60 feet. I shortened it a little bit to make my picture better. Because the fish was like 50 foot, I said, uh, I cast it, and when I got my bait come into view, I shortened it. Makes my bait show up better, doesn't it? And there you go. He's about 11 inches. All right, we're gonna change again. All right, guys, here's what I'm looking for. See them little bumps on the bottom right there? Those are fish. That's how tight they're holding the bottom. Now, I just stew over there, and uh, I don't see my bait. I'm just rolling slow. I don't have to see. If I see my bait fall in the area, I know it's in the area. Not all of them are interested. I've thrown at quite a few like that. They're paying no attention to it. I see one following me. I'm getting a lot of that. Uh, they're following me along. There's two or three right here following me. Now watch once they get to 15 foot. Now watch once they get to 15 foot. See how they stop? They stopped and disappeared. You know why they stopped and disappeared, guys, at 15 foot? One is, they heard that. Second is, they, they, they look up and see the boat. Even 15 foot, and this water being this size, this big old blue boat shows up pretty good. It's a shadow of it and everything else. There's a flock of birds up above this bridge up here. There's black birds. I think they're called comorants. We never had them before. The last two or three years, they've been coming in here. And we used to see one or two. That's the most I've ever seen at one time. It's a pile of them up there today. I hope they're passing through because they eat fish, right? But anyway, they're protected, so you nothing to do about it. Here's a bunch right here at 45 feet. Okay, that's why I don't let the camera. Some asked, then why do you let the camera run all the time? Y'all don't want to watch me casting and, and just reeling in all the time because I'm throwing at a bunch of them. Like those are 45 feet, I'm going to line myself up here. I'm going to throw, that's about 60 feet. That's why I've been running on 60 feet. That way I can see my, my uh, bait come down and know I'm in the right area. All right? Now, I don't see my bait. I'm going to wait for it to hit the bottom. I'm going to reel it in. It's very slow fishing this time of year. <laughs> so I don't like to let my camera run. And y'all have to put up and watch through all that. <laughs> Bam. I caught one. Yeah, I think color... Well, look at here. I'm surprised. Don't catch many of these here. They're here, but... Actually, I've caught a couple citation ones here, but you don't catch many. We have a citation program in Virginia, guys. That's a fat one, too. Look at that. They get made to spawn, ain't they? He's pretty. All right, guys, that was on black and chartreuse. Okay, bam. Wow, they have the trolling motor. He is throwing a fit. Gosh, he acts like he's got some shoulders. Let me get this net ready. I thought I had some. He do have some shoulders. As hard as he's fighting, I thought I'd better net him. He was way on out there, too. Oh, yeah, that's a nice fish. Great day. It's a nice one today. He's probably about 12 inches. All right. I'd keep a couple. <laughs> My wife made meatloaf. We got leftovers tonight. She said well, she already had uh, something planned for tomorrow, so I don't like to freeze them. This is the Wally color. Wow. Now I'm going to tell you what, guys. This, so far, this has been the easiest one. 
The first cast, I messed one. It was, I threw it four. They, I mean, as soon as I got close to them, they come running for it. They come toward it. They didn't wait for it to get to them. That's right. And that was probably at least eight foot or ten foot away when they started coming after it. Again, they can see further than you think you can in this nasty water. This color is chartreuse top, pearl belly, light pearl belly. And the chartreuse, now the last batch I made, this made some this week. The last batch I made, I put more chartreuse flake. It's got chartreuse flake in the top, okay? And you can see it in there. I added about twice as much this time. Gave it just a little bit more sparkle, all right? And I've done that. I'm changing my colors a little bit too, guys. And the other thing is, I'm using different chartreuse. The chartreuse I was using started clunking on me. I could put a clumping. I say clunking, clumping. <laughs> it started clump, clumping on me. When I put it and mix it with the plastic, it get little balls of color in it. The blue did too, so I had to switch to a different company, the blue. So I'm using dead-on plastic chartreuse and blue now. And I'm using neon blue, okay? And this is bright chartreuse, but it's opaque. It's not a solid chartreuse. I see some of the baits. I look at some of the other channels where guys make baits, and I see the solid chartreuse. I'll be honest with you. I don't like it. I have fish with baits with that solid chartreuse tail, which a pearlish chartreuse. I, I just don't care as much for it. I think the opaque chartreuse is bright, and it's bright enough in the water that the fish can see it, and it's more natural looking. That's why I don't use that, guys. Some of y'all think, well, I got baits. I got special one that has that. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not going to use it because... I don't think it's as natural looking. And I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing because, guys, I've got so many great comments from y'all on my baits, how you're catching fish. Somebody commented the other day, they're catching more fish than they ever have caught using my baits. And every color they've bought and tried, they've caught fish on. That's, that's what I'm trying to do. I know I'm not trying to copy these other people. I watch some of them and go like, wow. Uh, one guy I watch once in a while, he makes some wild stuff, buddy, some of those colors. Wow. I, I could never catch a fish on some of those colors. But he says he's selling them, so some of y'all need that. So I reckon I'm making baits for the guy that's fishing clear, clear water to stain, as I'm showing you, maybe up to whatever. And if it's mud, I reckon, I, I don't know. That plum color should work with pretty dark water. And if it's mud, best thing to do is find you somewhere else to fish. You know, mud, mud, a mud hole's not much fun to fish, is it? But sometimes it gets nasty here, a lot of rain. Sometimes we have to go a week or two not fish because it's just, it's just unfishable. It's mud. And when it's orange mud, it's just hard to fish. Uh, I mean, you gotta have to hit them in the head. <laughs> you bounce it off their head, and they go, "Oh, there's something to eat." Yeah, it makes it tough for y'all guys. I feel for you. Uh, we we very seldom have that problem here, but it takes a bunch of rain to do it. Kind of like what California got uh, last week. We get that sometimes. It's torrential rain for two or three days, and it gets pretty nasty. I love this color right now. The stain about 15 inches. To it's, I measured the other day, I think it was 17 inches last time I was out here. But we've had three days of rain since then. So it's about, it's about 14 to 16 inch visibility down. I can see this bait. So I like that. I know some people go, eh, I'd rather fish this any day than five foot water where you can see the bottom in five foot. I'd rather fish this any day. All right. Gosh, he's fighting hard too. Yeah, it's a nice fish. He wasn't a very big mark out there. Cause I can see him from here. I can say, oh man, he nailed it too. See all these bumps right there? That's what I was throwing. He was 50, 45 feet out there. All right, that's a nice fish. I don't think it, he's got it down there a good little ways, but I don't think it's in a bad area. Let's see if we can move it. Oh yeah, there you go. That's about the deepest I've had one had in his mouth for a while. Think he wanted it? Now guys, this is a good color that I just sold out of and I restocked this week again. And I made it a touch brighter too. Let me get up where y'all can see it. Glitz. Okay. That's the glitz color. He's about 11 inches. Now the glitz color is, uh, let me get up here. I've done this in a video I was editing last night. <laughs> I was showing y'all, trying to show y'all the bait, and I was down here the whole time. I'm sorry when I do that, guys. The closer I get to this camera, the more I've got to be right in front of it. Um, the glitz color is pearl belly, and it's got a glitz top. The top is um, dazzle. I make it in the cricket and uh, the bug called dazzle. It's a violet highlight. There's no pigment in it. It's a violet highlight 
with blue, purple, silver flake in it. I think it's got uh, pink in it too. Yeah, that's why I call it Dazzle. Boy, this looks like a diamond ring, doesn't it? But that violet shine, if y'all can see that violet shine, yeah, they nailed it, guys. That was second cast with it. First time they had a bite and messed it. Second cast, I caught one. So that one and the Wally so far have been the easiest to catch fish with. And see how natural that is? Yeah. Okay, that's what I'm trying to show you. We're going to use a couple more like that. Now, I am going to switch and use one more. I'm going to use one more bright color. This is Limeade. Limeade is good in clear water, too. Y'all go back and watch my videos. When Glenn was fishing with me, that was in June, I think. The water was like three foot visibility. I had no trouble catching fish on this. Sam just done a video. He said the lime may worked really good for him. Uh, so let's see if it'll work in this stained water today. I don't know how big this one is, but he come, he called fair catch. Well, it's gonna be a white perch. So we're gonna be, we're gonna do a do over. He come running for it, like he had to have it. Bam! That was fun. I made about four casts with this one. Had a couple follow me. Had some follow me every time. But I'm going to pitch him in the boat. Oh, he ain't that big. But here's what was funny. I was building a past two fish, and one of them didn't pay attention to it. The other one followed me a little bit. This one came from out of nowhere. I don't know where he came from. All of a sudden, there he was. Grabbed it. Limeade. Limeade color on the site. It'll work good in clear water, too, guys. I've caught fish on it when the water vis visibility is three foot. Sam was using Limeade in the last video he loaded on a South Carolina lake. He said they had, that it had uh, this coastal South Carolina, I think, because they was hunting wild boar hogs at one time too, so it must be coastal, I can take for granted. But anyway, he said the water was tinted color. You know how the coastal water is. He said it worked good there. Bam. Ain't very big. Finding bigger fish today is a little tough, but I'm not gonna complain. I've caught some tens and eleven, so I said one was probably twelve. But uh I have been catching a lot of tens and elevens. He's probably nine and a quarter. Yeah, he's probably about, that's about it, nine and a quarter. I'm, like I said, I'm looking for bigger fish and not seeing it. Guys, I have moved. I've been sitting in the same spot the spot lock on now for an hour. There you go. Yep. This is Slayer. Slayer is a light blue back. See, it's very light blue. Okay, it's a neon blue though, so it's gonna show up different. When light hits it, the difference between fluorescence and neons is when they reflect light different, guys. It's got a real light pearl belly. You can see the hook. Look, you can see the hook in the bait. All right, All right we're gonna use a couple more natural looking colors now. And I had plenty of bites on this bait. Now, I probably threw at about six casts before I caught one. But I had bites, I had fish following it. They could see it, they was chasing it. I just didn't hook up with any real fast. This time of year, just a matter of find some that's interesting. And they're moving a lot. I see some over, I throw, that's why I'm using a uh, 3 16 ounce jig head. I'll throw over there sometimes, and when time my bait gets there, they're gone. So they're moving around a lot. Uh, I don't know if this gonna be a crappy or not. No, I didn't think so. All right. That's two white perch on this color. <laughs> The white perch like the blue. Bam. I think I got a crappie this time, guys. I moved the boat up about uh, 30 feet, maybe, and we hit spot lock. Just to see if I can find some fish that maybe haven't seen me. Because like I said, they're, they're swimming around in circles. They're not really being still. And I thought, let's pull up a little bit to see if we can run into something new, something haven't seen me for a while. All right, bam. That's not a bad fish right there. He's got a mark on him. He's probably, he's probably right at 11. He's probably 10 and 15, 16. Yeah. I'm not trying to get precise on my measurements, but I'm trying to give y'all a good idea how what size they are. All right. That's Blue Boy. Okay. All right. That's the Blue Boy color. And that's the, uh, that's the Lime Tail. Okay, blue boy lime tail. All right, and I knew it would work too. Now, y'all want to see me catch one with a black tail? Let's try a blue boy black tail to see if it makes a difference. All right, because I got one other color laying that I want to use. 
Now I'm using natural colors now. Blue Boy is good in clear water. It's probably one of my best selling colors. It's Blue Boy for clear water and light stained water. Blue Boy, Virginia Shad, Flash, Wow. Uh, you know, I loaded the video on the wild with a pink tail, and a lot of y'all made a comment about it. I've got wild with a purple tail and wild with a chartreuse tail on the site, Gunner and Willie. Uh, am I going to put on the pink tail? I, I don't know. <laughs> I was just fishing with different color tails, just giving y'all ideas and giving you a chance to win something that you couldn't buy, that you couldn't buy on the site. All right, guys, I'm going to add this. This is coming in front of the last fish, okay? I ain't going to tell you how big he is coming up either. He's going to be a monster. <laughs> Uh, sour plum okay glitz some of the colors I use today Wally Wally sells good I just remade them like I told you in the video sunshine all right this is winter this is winter it's got a lime tail winter has a chartreuse tail okay I'm gonna put the lime tail on the next load next load it'll be on there JB Junebug pearl belly JB okay Black and chartreuse I have in different tail colors, all right? The black chartreuse might be on the next load. I don't know. I haven't made that decision yet. Slayer. Slayer is on the site, okay? The last one I caught was wild with orange tails laying on the floor over there. I threw it over on the floor, so I'm not going to go over and dig it up. And, it, and that was an experimental bait anyway. Just wanted to throw out in there, see if I could catch fish on a natural color. The wild color is, a, is just smoke. Real light smoke, red, silver, black flake. That's all it is. Old time smoke, guys. We used to use them in three inch, four inch scrubs all the time. Okay, one more fish yet, guys. Bam. Good gosh. Good. Oh, boy, you fight like you're a toad. I mean, come on. Love it. Oh, wow. Put the hammer on me. I quit reeling, guys. I think of a four pound test. I can't get that rough on him. Four pound test, I use a lot of guys. It's open water. I use two a lot too. I, mean, I use six. I'm fishing something heavy cover. But uh, I got one rival six on it here. Everything else is two and four. Open water, yeah, it is a nice fish. Open water, you cast, it's so much easier to cast light line. Uh, the rod, this rod's made for that. It's made for crappy fishing. This is a Denelli. Some people ask me that a lot. I got a Denelli and I got uh, two Lou's here. That Lou's classic, love it. The cork handle, love it. My favorite rod. But they're made for crappy fish. Bam! Look at that pig. No wonder he was fighting so hard. Woo! Let's put the bait back up on us. We can get a pretty picture. Get him. Pull my bait down. There you go, guys. I'm trying to get him in the sun for you. Wow. Guys, that's a 13 and a half, 14 inch fish. Look how thick he is. Woo hoo hoo! What a monster! <laughs> I laugh and I said that. I watched a video the other day. Okay, don't y'all get mad at me. I watched a video the other day and the title and the thumbnail was Catching Monsters. And in the video, they was holding these fish up and one of the guys said, Yeah, man, that's the biggest fish we've caught today. That fish has got to be ten and a half inches. And I, was, and I, so I watched the rest of the video. That was the big fish in the video. So, guys, that's a hog monster right there then. <laughs> A 10 inch fish here is a keeper, you know? So a 10 and a half inch fish is not a monster. Now, on your lake it could be, okay? On your lake it might be a monster. Grenada, they gotta be 11 inches in it before you can keep them. Yeah, see what I'm saying? So, whatever, not trying to make anybody mad. Don't y'all throw rocks at me, I'm just saying. A 10 and a half fish is not a monster. <laughs> 14, 15 inch crappy are monsters. That's what I, the way I look at it. All right, guys, wow. That's the wild color, orange tail. Now, this is not on the site. I have wild with chartreuse tail, wild with purple tail. The purple tail looks, works great. The orange tail is not going to be on the site. When I do stuff like this, people go like, oh my gosh, they, they email me, I can't find that bait on the site. And when I show you a bait that's not on the site, I tell you that it's not on the site. This one's not. Purple tail, chartreuse tail is on the site. This is just the color I was playing with. You don't need an orange tail. You want a bright tail, try that purple tail, Willie. It works just as good. That's why I made the purple tail. It worked really good for me. I just happen to have that one laying there. I just want to show you that with a natural looking body like that and a little color to the tail and the stained water, I still caught fish. 
All right, guys, that's it right there. Let's quit on that one. <laughs> I'll go home, right? Go to Mexican restaurant or something. No, I can't. My, wife, my wife's been planning meals out, so I haven't been eating as much as a Mexican restaurant because um, she's been home a lot doing some things here the last couple of weeks. So actually tonight I think we're having leftover meatloaf. Yay, but it was good. She made it in the crock pot. If y'all never tried that, it works great in the crock pot if you never tried it. Just look the recipe up for it. Good way to make meatloaf. You don't have to sit there and worry about it. Take about five hours, six hours in the crock pot, bam. We had two crock pots going. In the other crock pot we had green beans with ham hocks. That's right. So we have supper. We're having another night again tonight. Meatloaf, green beans. And I don't know about y'all, I love a meatloaf sandwich. Yeah, a little horseradish on it. Slice of tomato if you got it. Just treat it like a hamburger, guys. Onions, there, just like a hamburger. Can't beat it. Hey, guys. Dennis, Fishing Lake Country. I'm not going to get cooking tips all the time. <laughs> See y'all next time.